want us to try this Lux Algo trading method where he was talking about his liquidity swings indicator and he was saying that you can really combine the liquidity swings indicator with price action okay so this is what we're basically going to work a zone and see how it is really going to play out remember the liquidity swings indicator is a very brand new indicator that shows us liquidity right on our chest so it's kind of Lux Algo was showing us a strategy we can use trading liquidity but he was saying you can use his liquidity swings okay I've talked much about these liquidity swings in many of my videos in this channel and to those who really don't know how to add the indicator on your chart you're just going to click on indicator step once you click on indicator step just going to type liquidity swings by Lux Algo you're just going to click on it and definitely personally I do use the default settings I find them working perfectly well I know most of you don't really know what is liquidity let me just give you a very simple example so that you can be able to know what liquidity is without too much explanation i do give you a very simple example with a car for a car to move it have to have four if that car doesn't have four the car cannot really move so relating that example to forex trading you can basically say liquidity is the four the market needs so that it can really move and basically i know you know when there is liquidity the market really moves even when you look on these charts where there is liquidity you will see there is huge candlestick pattern or rather momentum that really pushes the market so liquidity is the for the market needs so that it can really move so with that simple example we are just going to see how we are actually going to combine this liquidity with what a lax algo said about it okay you can basically see on chat where we have liquidity the market actually moves aggressively to the upside or to the downside so seeing this on the chart you can basically see we have red highlighted area and green highlighted area the red highlighted area shows you a bearish liquidity and a green highlighted area shows you a bullish liquidity and that's why i do tell you there is a probability the market can break above your bearish liquidity zone and there is a probability the market can break below your bullish liquidity zone and the great thing about this indicator when such kind of a thing happens it shows you with a dashed line and this dashed line tells you now you can actually go the opposite of what you actually know like buying on liquidity zone and selling on bearish liquidity zone it tells you when there is something like this happens continue looking for your selling order when something like this happens tells you look for your buying order okay that's what i really love about this indicator so he was saying we can combine his liquidity swings plus the break of market structure and this can work perfectly well and you can probably see when you have liquidity zone over here i'm assuming we all know how to identify break of structure even without using indicators like for instance i am on one hour time frame and uh, for instance right here you've seen a bearish liquidity zone and you're actually not aware what is really going to happen so for you to execute trade so what you can probably see you can wait for price to really break above this structure over here and this structure and you can see this momentum candlestick pattern happened and the market pushed to the upside and that's why you are your bullish liquidity zone all you really need to see is price breaking this structure when price breaks this structure remember price shouldn't close below and the market really pushed to the upside so combining liquidity plus break of structure lux algo says that it's so easy for you to really really make money and that's why when you can see this bullish liquidity zone and actually it is broken below so to execute your sell order wait for price to break the structure once the price breaks this structure remember to put your stop losses slightly above the highs and target your next support if you're selling okay and when you're buying you can target your next resistance it's so easy by the way if this indicator works perfectly it can be really easy for you to really execute trades because break of structure shows us a continuation and break of structure actually shows us as well who are in control of the market okay remember as well the way you trade liquidity when the market is rising or actually dropping it's not the same way you trade liquidity when the market is actually consolidating when the market is consolidating remember we have equal highs and as well we have equal lows and basically right on our chart we have examples what you can probably see over here we have equal highs and we have equal lows and probably when you have a bearish liquidity zone on highs 
and you have a bullish liquidity on lows over here you can actually execute your buy order and as well considering the break of structure so let's say you saw this bearish liquidity zone what you can probably do when press breaks this structure over here you can execute your sell order when it gets to this low over here you can actually look for a break of structure and execute your buy order right away but when the market is rising you expect to see bullish liquidity zone zone on this level so over here and when you see bullish liquidity zones execute your buy order as well considering what we call break of market structure and you expect to see bearish liquidity zone on this level so over here so when the market is buying bearish liquidity zone are actually broken above but bullish liquidity zones tends to be respected. The same applies when the market is really dropping. It's the opposite. You expect to find a bearish liquidity zone on lower highs. And that's where you expect to see bullish liquidity zones on lower lows. And what the market does, the bullish liquidity zones, they are broken below. But the bearish liquidity zones, they are respected when the market is really selling. So what does that tell you? When you're continually seeing bearish liquidity zone or rather the bullish liquidity zone broken below, that tells you that's a downtrend. So this indicator can help you also know the trend of the market. When the market is actually rising, I told you, you expect to see the bullish liquidity zones at this given point over here. And as well, remember I told you, the bearish liquidity zone are broken above. So when you see bullish liquidity zone respected and bearish liquidity zone broken above, this tells you, the buyers are really in control or rather that's an uptrend you can see how easily it can really be liquidity swings indicator shows you the trend of the market and number two liquidity swings indicator shows you who are in control of the market combining it with break of market structure so this is what lux algo really emphasized and i'm telling you when you really pay attention on it you can basically be able to move with the market direction this is a very great example over here let's say you want to know the trend of the market and number two you really want to confirm your trades using liquidity swings and break of market structure you are on your liquidity swings over here once this structure is broken execute your so order and that's where we go to a bullish liquidity zone and of course many times we expect the market to buy and remember this structure is broken so you can execute your buy order and as well we go to another bearish liquidity zone and the market actually broke this structure and it is sold we go to a bullish liquidity zone where it is broken below that shows you a downtrend and you're supposed to know these previous levels become relevant again when you find a bullish liquidity zone when you see many bullish candlestick pattern than the selling candlestick patterns tells you the buyers are really in control of the market or rather when you see the bullish candlestick pattern are actually bigger in size comparing them to selling candlestick patterns tells you the buyers are really in control and you can actually consider taking your buy order but these levels over here becomes very very relevant when price closes above execute your buy order when price closes above this level over here like for instance over here you can consider taking your buy order as simple as that guys that's what lux algo was trying to put across using the liquidity swings plus a break of market structure and as well i've added this tip where you can really know who are in control when you actually consider the body sizes of the candlestick pattern or rather the presence of candlestick pattern comparing the buying and selling candlestick pattern let me hope you've learned something from this video remember to practice this on your live market don't really backtest work this on live market it's just going to see everything you really need it's just going to see how the market is reacting on this liquidity zone so what do i say guys continue working here because i really know one day one day your hard work will pay so what do i say guys bye bye see you in my next video